track wrestling with Oklahoma assistant coach and NCAA champion for Oklahoma, four-time All-American for the Sooners, Michael Leitner. We are at the Junior Duels in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and your greatest rivalry with Doug Schwab started at the Junior Duels. Take us through that first match and what happened through the remaining six matches. Um, that was 96, I think. Um, me and Doug wrestled. Um, at the Junior Duels, and we wrestled in Fargo, um, and then we went at it again in the National Duels, and then he beat me in the NCAA Finals. I, be, I beat him in high school, then he beat me um, at the National Duels, he beat me in the NCAA Finals. Uh, we were sophomores, and he beat me at the uh, at the Arlington Duels, I believe, and then and then I got him at, at the NCAAs uh, in the Finals when we were seniors. But. A lot of respect, Fort, Fort Dodge, right? Iowa. Osage. Osage, Iowa. Okay, Osage, Iowa. Um, hell of a competitor, and um, I got a lot of respect for him. Great man. When you beat him in 01, Sammy Henson put you through a series of drills to work on him going after your head. Take us through what he did and how you executed that practice there, plan. There was a lot that, that kind of went into it. Doug, me and Doug were, um, Doug was a, was a brawler and um, I don't want to say I was more technical because Doug is, is super technical, um, but different style and, and, and I could get him early and then he would wear me out. Um, and so Coach Spates um, got Sammy Henson to OU, Sammy pounded on me, beat me up, taught me kind of how to absorb it. Rodney Jones, an assistant coach at that time, put me through different workouts to kind of discombobulate me, put me in weird situations. When I was tired and uh, and, and, and it, it paid off. The last time Oklahoma won an NCAA championship was 1974. Has had great teams since then, but yeah. I know you're on the ascension to want to get back to that place. Where are you on that path? We're we're coming back. We got good kids. We we got a leader in Don Bemis, um, and we got a lot of other young, talented kids. Lou Roselli is, I promise, the hardest working head coach in the country. Um, and he's passionate about making OU great. Um, we got Nick Heflin, we got Hunter Stieber, Frank Molinaro. There's a lot of guys around the program right now that is, that's helping the guys and making them great. Eric Guerrero, um, a lot of guys. When you say that someone is the hardest working person, that's a big claim. Why is he the hardest working coach in America? Lou, Lou literally is the guy, the first guy in the room and the last guy out of the room. And if he does a great job of delegating, but at the same time, it's he's not too big for any job. And, and if, he, if he sees a job that, he, if he needs to develop a guy, he's hands on and he's the man in there. And he puts more work into him than he is. What's the next step to get to a, a trophy? I know there was a nice run with Coach Spates there, but how do you get back in the mix where we're we, talking about OU? We, we have to recruit talent. We have to develop it. That's what we're doing. You're recruiting some talent here. You've got them already here coming to OU. What do you like about these kids at the Junior Duels? Uh, I like I like the how the talent in the country is getting better. You come here and, and kids are way better than they were when, when I was in high school. Um, I like the fight. I like that if you're showing up here and you're wrestling eight to ten matches, you're passionate about it. Um, these kids are this is not free. They, their parents spend their hard-earned money. These kids probably save up money to come. Um, and so they're passionate about making, you know, win it, winning this. It's, it's a prideful thing. You're representing your state. Um, but at the same time, you're also out here because you want to get noticed. You want to you want to wrestle on the next platform, the next level. How much of RTC's changed wrestling? A ton. A huge amount. We, we did it. Coach Spades had it in mind back when... when when I was in college in the 90s, we had Sammy Henson and Tony Perler and Sean Charles and all these all these post-grad guys. Um, but now it's taken off and everyone's doing it. And you can see the results. You got college-age kids that are making world teams um, and ready to win world titles. When I was in college, you weren't ready to make a, you you had to graduate and then a couple years after, where you you know you it would be before you're ready to make a team. So I think it's making our younger guys better and it's making us better on the world level. You can tell, it's, it's the results are there. What's next for OU Wrestling? You come into the season, you're part of the Big 12. The Big 12 championships are right here in Tulsa. Are you excited about the prospects of 2020? Yeah, uh, we, we need to put 
you know, the goal would be three or four guys on the podium and, and, a, and an NCAA champ, you know, and, and we're, we're excited. We got some good young guys. Um, and the goal would be a Big 12 championship and, and three or four guys on the podium come March. Your coach, Jack Spates, what made him an effective coach? Um, he, he was good at, at, at relationships and building you up. He's also really good technical, um, but just support, support. He always kept me positive. No matter win, lose, um, he, he always show back up, stay positive.